Right now I'm wearing an Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. Here I am flying off into space. I see asteroids around me. I now see uh, my enemies, so I'm firing my uh, machine guns. This is crazy. The maker of the Oculus Rift headset is making a big promise that virtual reality will finally feel real. <laughs> What if virtual reality were perfect and we could have an experience of this fidelity with full body language, full presence, feeling like we're in the same space, like the Matrix, except everyone realizes they're in it. 21-year-old Palmer Lucky created the Rift headset in his parents' garage and started showing it in 2012. That was only the beginning. This was your hobby, your personal passion, headsets and virtual reality. Now you're the co-founder of a company that just raised $75 million, moving towards a commercial product, and you get to live your passion. It's pretty great. It's amazing to work with a lot of people who are a lot smarter at what they do, and not just me. me. One of the people Lucky is now working with is gaming entrepreneur Brendan Aribe. I was always skeptical about virtual reality because I grew up in the 80s, 90s, and there were a lot of expectation and a lot of excitement around it, but technology just wasn't ready. The technology um, now, luckily, is finally there. All it takes is seeing it once for a few seconds, and you realize that this really has the potential to change the world, and that it finally works. That's because Oculus has a new technology called positional tracking. When the player leans forward in the headset, his virtual character character leans forward as well and sees the digital world with a new perspective. Optics technology has advanced. We're finally able to deliver on the promise of synthetic 3D environments that are nearly photorealistic, which we could never do before. They've accomplished a lot with this version of Oculus Rift. It's very seamless and unlike previous VR systems, you know, I'm not feeling any nausea right now. It's almost like I'm there. The buzz around Oculus has brought out some competition. Sony just announced Project Morpheus, its VR headset prototype for the PlayStation 4. But executives at Oculus aren't worried. I think a number of people will jump in because we've now proven that there's a market for VR. I'm a huge Sony fan, and I hope they really take it seriously. I hope that they deliver something great, and it just makes VR that much bigger of an industry. But both companies have many hurdles ahead of them. It's not clear whether the biggest gaming software developers will ever embrace the technology. And there's no release date. When can consumers buy an Oculus Rift? When it's ready, and not a second before that. Is that in 2014? We'll see.